effort also to dress up in a traditional Indian outfit and that's something that most certainly is getting noticed. The one uh, making most waves of course is Akshita Murthy. She's got her Indian attire game fully on and uh, you know a lot of that tracking quite extensively across social media and digital I can tell you so uh, she, she's got a full game on but she also knows this country she's uh, India's daughter and therefore she's home I mean for all practical purposes 10 Downing Street not as much home for her as uh, the streets of Bengaluru uh, uh, and, and that is just the reality of the fact that they've been making the most amount of waves they will be going tomorrow uh, to the Akshardham temple again President uh, Prime Minister Sunak very openly wearing his Hindu credentials on his sleeves it will be interesting to see what he picks is he going to be dressed in a kurta pajama as he goes to Akshardham temple we don't know but I'm just saying that that will be a big uh, visual opportunity uh, and a big moment through the day tomorrow as Mr. and Mrs. Sunak head to the Akshardham temple we also bring the element of diversity uh, in mind as well and Akshardham temple uh, tomorrow sometime. Another comes across as a very cheerful, is not standoffish uh, like some of the leaders tend to be. One, my favorite tends to be. So that uh, uh, feeling that you can be safe with a leader like him. I hope he succeeds. But no, but there's almost immediate bonhomie. Be his Hindu Rishi Sunak. Just look at the warm embrace, you know, with some the, the Jappi comes with Sunak, and Sunak's also rushing in, unlike the others yes. who, you know, Prime Minister coming in for the hug as well. So it's a very interesting Sunak and Modi are in the same image. Coming up next, uh, as I said earlier, these are the countries who are coming in one after another are uh, member countries of the G20 coming in so that's followed tomorrow at Rajghat as well and that's just the way it plays out it feast lined up at the Bharat Mandapam this dinner hosted I think if you permit me I think Rishi so it's very good that he he's made no bones about his uh, it speaks a lot about he as a person, but it also speaks about modern Britain. Oh, sure. Most Prime Minister of a faith which isn't your yeah. majority yes. of faith and uh, trying to mend the economy. Uh, yes. He speaks. There's no absolutely no doubt about it. I mean, there are lots of other problems yeah. with the matter of another debate, but uh, sure, the fact that they accepted. He vote somebody who's uh, from, I mean, Manmohan. Uh, in, in that sense, Sunak also never went to the... So he's been chosen, he's uh, chosen as leader right. of the Good Conservative point. Party. Others really yeah, but the party you know, messed things thought, up. The party would have thought, imagine, but, but you're right. He hasn't gone to the people. He hasn't... The people, he faces that, a lot of anti-incumbency. Yeah. Uh, built true. up. So it's a that, tough, that, that, tough, that. tough election that he'll have to face with and he's been facing some uh, setbacks off late. But Rahul, to uh, carry Vivek's point further, when Cameroon was the Prime Minister... Yeah, I just want to tell it, our viewers that this is Nadia Calvino, the first Vice President of Spain. Uh, the Spanish Prime Minister couldn't come because he had Covid. Uh, so she's come in and stepped in. Uh, she is Minister for Economy, Digitalization. She's held this position since 2018. Do you feel a bit out of place? You've got Biden there and uh, the Saudi prince there and the, you know, you're kind of just stepping in uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, you're, no, you're there I, because your leader is not there. So is that, no, is that awkward? I think, no, I think veteran politicians, and if she's been there since 2018 and... Uh, have the skills of, oh, of course. stepping in and... No, but do, Vina Secret, you want to take us through what uh -huh. you think it may be like because she's there on the high table but the invitation wasn't really to her, her Prime Minister couldn't come or do you think there's a lot of grace there and it doesn't really matter or does it? Vina Secret, can you hear me ma'am? Yes, 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 certainly I'm here. <laughs> no, so I was saying if you were the Spanish uh, Vice President Stepping in for your Prime Minister, 
uh, is that a bit awkward at a high table like this or do you think it doesn't really matter beyond a point no i i think that it's wonderful that so many of the uh, visitors each of them of course the level of participation is for each country to decide and the spanish prime minister couldn't come so that's perfectly all right but i think it's wonderful to see that so many of the guests tonight are wearing indian dresses whether oh, it yes. is in embroideries or whether it is an indian sari or the even christina georgieva was in a in a indian uh, kurta suit so i mean this is wonderful it's really a recognition mm -hmm. and acceptance of indian high fashion you know and uh, it's showing like that they're wanting to be and be more and more indian the the, the question of the indian yoga the international yoga day and the uh, increasingly great interest in this is really putting india on the world stage in terms of software uh, projection as well as uh, through the outcome of the g20 uh, declaration hardware projection hard power projection as well so i think this has been a great success this summit uh, from every point of view because it has shown an all around uh, projection of india's civilizational heritage and strength and tomorrow you were talking about the visit to akshadham temple i think uh, together with prime minister rishi sunak there will be at least four other heads of delegations who will be going uh, to the uh, temple with him so this will indeed also be showcasing uh, the leadership of indian heritage of indian origin that is there across the world so i think that uh, through the leadership of the g20 the, the people who are present here uh, you are going to see uh, the indian diaspora having reached the highest positions in their okay. respective the south african president uh, cyril ramphosa this is the AU president uh, on the screen right now, African Union president, president of Comoros, uh, just become a member of yes. the G20. So he's now in the so morning after as a the guest. the Spanish uh, vice president, the first leader to come in. The Spanish vice president is a permanent guest. Permanent invitee to the ah, G20. Permanent invitee. And now so what he, is his status right now? He, he is now a permanent member. Permanent member. member because this morning... So in he, the morning he came in as a guest? A that's, guest that's a good and, space and to be. And now he is coming in as a... That's a good space a, to be. You come in a, as a guest in the morning, and then now you get he permanent member. membership. And then you're coming in with a little bit of an extra strat because you're now... Oh, fundamental uh, change, Rahul. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Historic, change. Absolutely. historic change. And history will... You know, this is the time when it goes from being the G20 to the G21. Whether yes. the nomenclature changes, we'll know soon. And it happened under no, no, India's uh, presidency. Yes, That's absolutely. I think always that going was to be an absolutely brilliant uh, diplomatic move to get it in the morning. Yeah. Publicly embrace him. Make him sit on the table. I think Jay Shankar is co went to him, escorted him. Modi ji welcomed him, gave him a big Very hug. Very warm hug. hug. And that that will uh, that is one image which I sus I suspect will spread all over Africa. Almost oh, certainly. Absolutely. You know, and especially given the fact that there's now some pushback against the kind of indebtedness that oh, China has a, brought upon it's African a, countries. It's a great pushback, and it's been going on for years. They. They dislike it because not you only know, are the Chinese, it's indebtedness, but Chinese are are settling there and uh, the, the Africans feel terribly exploited. 